Hey there, we're here at the restaurant Gesner, which is located in the Grand Hyatt Vale, and we're joined with Chef Pearson, the one, the only. Thank you for joining us no, today. No, thank you for having me. This is awesome. So Gesner, tell us a little bit about the restaurant, the vibe, the menu. No, for sure. So Swiss influence, a lot of American flair. We are, you know, we brought chefs from all over the country to work here. We have our Chef de Cuisine has worked in a ton of different kinds of restaurants from sushi to American to French. So we've, we've just had a lot of fun with the menu and changing it seasonally has been just ideal for guests, you know, that, that come back to us and hang out with us. So it's, it's been a lot of fun so far. So today we're gonna get our hands dirty. You see, I'm sporting the apron and we're gonna go back in the kitchen. What mm -hmm. are we making today? So we're gonna hit breakfast because I'm a All breakfast right. person. All so right. I'm thinking we're gonna do a beet hummus toast. We're gonna do a fried egg, some cotija cheese. I'm gonna Ooh. put you to work. We're gonna have some fun. All right, let's go. All right, so we made it back in the kitchen on the chef's line, which is really special. Yes. This is a, the exclusive look behind the making of the beet toast. So let's dive right in. Let's do it. So I have it set up today just to show everyone how we make it. So we do the hummus, pre-roasted beets, a little oil. Um, we have shallots, lemon juice, cumin, roasted garlic, some zest, and then some herbs. So the biggest thing with this is to make it smooth. So what we do, is we just put it in the food processor for five minutes. It almost gets warm that yeah. it's in there so long. And that's what really makes our special okay. home is it really it's brings creamy. out that flavor for us. And are these chickpeas pre-cooked? They are, so we, we actually toasted them. Toast we them. toast them to bring out that nutty flavor, which we think really helps the dish. That's fantastic. So this all goes in the food processor. So this, everything's gonna go in the food processor about five minutes, you know, and once it comes out, you're gonna have this awesome product of the beet hummus. So Amazing. if you're Look ready. Look this. Beet hummus, that's very special. Norm, I love the color that it adds mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, it really, it brings out, it, it lets the dish pop, you know, yeah. off, a, off a white plate. It's just, people have really been happy with it, so. Perfect, yeah. well, let's dive in. All right, let's do it. So first is the bread. Avon Bakery, rosemary sourdough. Ooh, we I love, love it. Their bread. We're bringing a hundred loaves of this in a week almost. This is made locally. Yes. Avon Bakery, I love that. So we put it in the salamander. You could use a toaster at home if you're making it at home. We toast both sides of it, real simple. This thing is over 500 degrees, so it's super quick. The ultra toaster. Not available at home. <laughs> Not available at home. So oh as gosh. you can see, less than 30 so seconds. Fast super quick <laughs> wow very impressive so now i'm done now it's your turn to work so right. i'm gonna put you to work so we have some pre-toasted bread and we have you set up in order so first things first is you're gonna take this spoon i'll get you a plate set up and just spread as much hummus onto the plate as you want okay here we go How thick? Pretty thin, you know, just from Pretty edge thin. to edge. Okay. Almost as much as you would put peanut butter on the toast would be okay, a recommendation. Okay, so probably a little too much. You're perfect mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Next what we have is our roasted beets. Super simple, so as many or as little as you want on there. And then we have local heirloom tomatoes. So these are the brand, Brandywine heirloom cherry tomatoes. Look at that Super color. Super flavorful, bunch of different colors. Okay, am I going overboard? No, you're killing it, you're <laughs> killing it. So the hidden is the fried egg that we talked about. Yes. So with the fried egg, I like to put it on next. Just right on mm, top. That doesn't scream breakfast, little I don't protein, know what Little protein, little breakfast, uh -huh. can't go wrong. After that is just a little bit of garnish. So we have okay. cotija cheese, we have pickled red onions, mm -hmm. and some Nap Ranch microgreens. We love Nap Ranch, also local. Check that out. We do a ton with them. They come in, we love to do demonstrations, presentations, whatever it is. They, they've been a great partner. I love that you're partnering with locals. That is fantastic. Okay, so what's first? So I'm saying cheese is first. Cheese is first. Just a little pinch. Cotina cheese. Mm -hmm. And then you have pickled red onions, which we do in house. How long does it take to pickle an onion? It's quick, you know, we, 
as soon as as soon as the liquid cools down in the jar, I think they're ready to go. It, you know, it's one of the staples. I always have this in my fridge at home. So then we'll just finish it with a little microgreens. We just put them right on top. Just a little color, a little, little love on top. Fantastic. And that's it. That is our beet hummus toast. All right, Chef Pearson. I think you and I have to try it. Oh man, I brought the knife for a reason. So okay, let's cut this up. All right, cheers. Thank you. Mm. It's good okay. after a big workout, a hard ride. So people that are in Vail coming through, I'd say come get some pancakes, come get some beef hummus toast and enjoy. There's something for everyone on this menu any time of the day. Absolutely. I feel super lucky to be let in behind the kitchen on the chef's line. Thank you so much, Chef Pearson. No, thanks for having me. Next time we'll maybe do the tiki bar. We'll go outside and enjoy the sun. All right. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a keeper. Mm. Mm.